Co-star, I heard. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's my friend of Caleb. <laughs> anyway, but uh, please give a lot of love and support for this man. Mr. Cyclone, come up here and do your thing. He actually showed up here and filled in a spot for the cancel, so I give him a lot of love here. So, uh, I will have all of you guys know that this morning I burned 800 calories. <laughs> I left my bagel in the toaster too long. <laughs> um, actually, when I got here, I asked them up in front for a fortune cookie, and when I opened it, it said, Do or do not, there is no trial. Now look, I understand getting employment nowadays is really tough, but who the fuck figured Yoda was writing fortunes for cookies? <laughs> and I'll tell you, actually, actually it's been a really bad day for me. Um, it's been a bad week. It's been a bad 44 years of life. But uh, I recently got dumped and uh, we met on a really popular site, eBay. <laughs> and um, she came from a very traditional Irish Catholic family, you know. Um, you guys know what that means. They like to drink and blame other people for their problems. I, on the other hand, come from a very traditional Jewish family, where we like to drink and play, pray that our kids don't date Irish Catholics. Um, and I'll tell you one thing that still sticks in my craw, and I have no fucking clue what a craw is, but it's stuck in there is the fact that we finally had those cute little nicknames. You know, that couples give to each other, right? She used to call me wet pimento dick. I would call her Grand Canyon Cooch. And, and when we talked about, you know, having kids one day, and we, and we realized that, that it, it, because the religious thing, it, it would be just too hard. And, uh, I just found out the other day that kids really do say the darndest shit. Am I right, parents? See, I was in J.C. Penney the other day, okay, and I need to use the restroom. And the restrooms are located in the women's undergarment department. So I crossed paths with this woman and her, gee, I don't know, five or six-year-old son. He jumps up like LeBron James, rips the panties right off of this mannequin and goes, Mommy, now it looks like Grandma. I mean, see, I don't think I can live with my demon seed one day looking at me going, Daddy, why is Mommy's friends more successful than you? I think now what I want to date, though, is a cougar. Although at my age, they're more like saber-toothed tigers. But, uh, it's gonna get really gross, kids. Cover your ears. Oh, um, I think I'm gonna to have to throw the line in the sand if their pussy is dry as pagan leaves. And just as floppy. Hey, I warned you. Oh. Um, so I'm what this generation calls a hater because, well, I hate things. And one of the things I hate is technology. For example, what's happened with television. First, analog became outdated. Enter HD digital. Watch me on TV, see if you don't twitch like a fish out of order. But now, it's actually here, folks. 3D TV. Are you fucking kidding me? It's hard enough to take me in 1D, let alone 33D in my case. Now, there's no way in hell I'm ever winning America's Next Top Model. You know, um, let's see, what else do I hate? I hate the fact that my laptop acts like a bipolar two-year-old. I hate that I don't even have a game to turn on Surrey. I hate when friends give fucked up advice. Anybody else hate that? Okay, everybody's friends are geniuses. Well, mine are assholes. And recently, one of these pricks said to me, Cyclone, you always seem a bit stressed out. What you need to do is move down south where we live because it's so relaxing. 
And I told her I would, honestly. But the fact of the matter is, I love the cold weather. And I love the cold weather because you can always put more clothing on. Down south where you live, in the heat and the humidity, there's only so much you can take off. And let's face facts, I just don't want to cause chaos because when I sweat through my He-Man underoos, I look just like Channing Tatum. And one of my other asshole friends recently said to me, Cyclone, you're big and crazy looking. What you should do when you do stand up is jump up and down on stage, run around, and after a while. I'm like, really, bro? Is that what I really need to do? Because I've spent 44 motherfucking years getting myself into this Greek god of a body you see before you, so one day I could run your ass over and I'll hover around. But I'll tell you, the, the, the thing I hate most in this world is how politically correct you've become. Okay, it, it just has to stop. Am I right? Okay. For example, I am not ugly, damn it. I am aesthetically pleasing challenge. I am not some creepy stalker, okay? I just like playing games like hide and go seek and follow the leader a lot. <laughs> and under no circumstances, none, am I a racist. I'm a Republican. Thanks a lot, folks. My name is Cyclo. I just come for the hugs and kisses, honestly. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Whatever brings you out, I don't know.